What up, Afrim world? It's Home Team here, and welcome back to another video of A Closer Look, a series where I take a closer look at African peoples and the diaspora around the world. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at Afro Peruvians. <laughs> By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. Also, stay tuned with a word from my sponsors. Hello, my name is Howard Dorsey. I'm 54 years old. I'm here to talk about my uh, experience with herbal results. Um, I was getting sick, so I, I went to the doctor and they told me that um, my blood pressure was high my cholesterol was borderline or high, so I was very sick. You know, I thought I was, sometimes I thought I was dying at, at some point. And uh, I ordered a bottle of olive leaf extract. This is, this is how the bottle comes in. And within the first probably week and a half, two weeks, I checked my blood pressure and it was back down to normal. It was like 120 over 80. So my cholesterol went down to uh, 125. You know, I definitely believe that olive leaf extract from Herbal Results saved my life. And I, that's real. I mean, I, 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 and I recommend it to everyone in my family, my friends, and we've seen a lot of results in that, in that manner as well. Purchase now at HerbalResults.net. To begin, this video was intended to be a general outline of Afro-Peruvian history. Please keep in mind that one video cannot capture the full scope of their history. That being said, let's begin. Peru is a country located in the western edge of South America. According to the website Britannica, Peru's population is around 33 million people. Afro-Peruvians constitute less than 10% of that population. They are said to reside mostly along the Peruvian coast and in major cities. However, Afro-Peruvians can also be found in the highlands of the country. Interestingly enough, I've personally met an Afro-Peruvian before. Ages ago, while working at a restaurant, I met an Afro-Peruvian girl. The topic of family came up and she began talking about Peru. I was totally baffled as I had no idea people of African descent not only lived in Peru, but have been there for quite some time. In fact, Afro-Peruvians have been in the country since the 16th century. Unlike the African people who arrived in the Caribbean and North America, the initial role of enslaved Afro-Peruvians was quite distinct from elsewhere. Technically speaking, Afro-Peruvians first came into Peru as conquistadors, and this dynamic was similar for other Afro-descended people in South America. Historians today refer to them as black conquistadors. Scholar Matthew Rustall gives a great distillation concerning the early role of Africans as conquistadors in South America. The broader cultural context to the Spanish use of black fighters in the conquest and subsequent accounts of their roles is the Spanish perception of Africans as natural warriors. This perception is deeply rooted in Iberian and African history, going back to the role played by black slaves in the Muslim armies of North Africa and the Middle East during the medieval phase of the trade in sub-Saharan Africans, and to the black experience of the Reconquista as armed auxiliaries on both sides of the conflict. Afro-Peruvians played a pivotal role in the conquest and pacification of South America. This is the forgotten or perhaps neglected aspect of Afro-Peruvian history. Though they were technically an enslaved class of people, some were able to gain freedom through their efforts. Perhaps the most popular Afro-Peruvian conquistador was Juan Valenti. He, along with hundreds of other black conquistadors, accompanied the conquest campaign of Pedro Alvarado to Peru in 1534. He was made a captain and was granted an estate along with the right by the Spanish crown to demand labor and tribute from the native population. Alvarado's Africans, however, were neither the first nor last blacks to be brought down the Pacific coast of South America. During the 1530s, thousands of Africans accompanied the Spanish invaders of the greater Peruvian region as conquistadors and auxiliaries of various kinds. As scholars have noted, the historical record is remarkably silent on the roles of black conquistadors in Peru, yet their presence and large numbers are indisputable. 
After the conquest and pacification of Peru by the Spanish and Afro-Peruvian conquistadors, a more familiar class of enslaved Africans began to be imported into the country. Since there was no direct trade of enslaved Africans in Peru, African peoples arrived through other ports, most of whom were already acculturated into Spanish or European customs. Africans brought skills and techniques in agriculture, metallurgy, craftsmanship, and manufacturing, and they occupied roles as domestics, laundresses, wet nurses, artisans, tailors, and construction workers. By the late 16th century, peoples of African descent formed 50% of the Lima population. In the coastal cities, enslaved Africans in Peru were allowed by some authorities to work in different trades. Some were able to generate enough income to purchase their freedom. Because of this opportunity, this created a relatively large free African descent population, particularly in Lima, a quarter of whose population at one time was black. This scenario of opportunity was likely only available in small pockets of the country with certain caveats. Afro-Peruvians, like other Afro-descended people in the New World, also have a history of resistance. Throughout the period of enslavement, many Afro-Peruvians escaped and formed safe havens away from Spanish authority or access. The most popular of these locations was known as El Palanco de Hashipa, led by a man named Francisco Congo. Afro-Peruvians were emancipated in 1854, however, According to the Historical Dictionary of Peru, the national census doesn't register by race. Thus, the current Afro-Peruvian population cannot be conclusively verified. Afro-Peruvians have exerted a considerable influence through language, art, music, and dance on the wider societal culture. In 2009, the government issued an official apology to Afro-Peruvians for centuries of injustice and present-day discrimination. Among the most popular aspect of Afro-Peruvian culture is what's known as festejo. Festejo is a music and dance genre that presumably borrows from African rhythmic tradition. While the roots of the genre date back at least to the 19th century, much of its contemporary character and the general perception that the festejo embodies the irrepressible joy of the Afro-Peruvian community even in times of hardship is related to its development during the second part of the 20th century. Though there are some notable Afro-Peruvians like Maria Elena Mayano and others, despite their contributions to Peruvian society as a whole, Afro-Peruvians still experience marginalization, racism, and varying forms of discrimination in their day-to-day -day lives. Some Afro-Peruvians have organized to build social movements to achieve the equal distribution of rights for the community. According to scholar Leo Garofalo, the African diaspora throughout the Americas played important roles in establishing the colonial societies. Their contributions included, but weren't limited, to subsistence activities, housing, language, religion, and artistic expression. I think that should persist as one of the principal legacies of Afro-Peruvian people. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.